Well, right now at 5, one of the men charged in connection with a series of shootings that left a three-year-old dead appeared in court today. You're looking at that video there. Retaliation, that's what prosecutors say, may have led to a shooting that killed the three-year-old boy. And Fox 46 just obtained an incident report which shows that one of the suspect's homes was shot into 24 hours before the shooting where the child was killed. Robin Kennedy was in court today and joins us now live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. And Robin, what details have you learned so far? Alicia, that incident report says at least one of the victims in the first shooting on Kiev Drive is a student at Hopewell High School. You may remember that early on in this investigation, police said that there were some connections to local high schools. Today, in court, a judge refused to lower the bond for one of the suspects because the judge says he's accused of, quote, extreme violence and running away from police. Police. police say the suspects unloaded around 150 rounds into a home. The home where three-year-old Asaya Figaro was killed by the gunfire on September 7th. Quatonio Stevens is one of three people arrested in connection with the shooting. He's charged with accessory after the fact. But police say Stevens is also involved in other shootings. In court Thursday, prosecutors and the defense said Stevens admitted to shooting into another home in the same neighborhood as the three-year-old's house in retaliation for his own home being shot up earlier in the night. Prosecutors say two other homes nearby were hit, but Stevens' attorney says his client never told police he was involved in the other shootings. Although Mr. Stevens only admitted to one shooting, um, into an occupied property, I realize that at this stage of the court bonds, well, there's probable cause to believe that there was the other houses that were shot into were done as a result of Mr. Stevens or someone he was with. Police say they tried to pull Stevens over after the shootings, but he led them on a chase. He crashed, and prosecutors say police recovered two guns in the car Stevens was driving that matched caliber and casings found on scene of the string of shootings and the scene where Asaya Figaro was killed. Now, the prosecution said in court today the cases involving the other shootings are scheduled to go before a grand jury on Monday. I'm live at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. Robin Kennedy, Fox 46. Robin, thank you for that report.